All right, Monkey Jones has gone way too far. If you somehow do not know, Monkey Jones and I go way back. To give some context, Monkey Jones goes by his preferred stage name, Dunstan from the hit role in his extremely successful film, Dunstan Checks In. So from now on, I will refer to Jones as Dunstan. And I bet you're here wondering, how has he gone too far? I bet you're asking that right now. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. He's an actor. He has pressure on him. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know who else is an actor? Ronald Reagan. John Favreau, too. Heck, Adolf Hitler! So I know there's a lot of speculation here, but if you are in the film world, you're pretty much a bad guy or a girl. Look at the X-Men guy. What's his name? Brian Roman Polanski. Even Jeff Dunham. I could go on. The list never ends. But Dunstan, he's got it all. And now we're going to say allegedly. Put some quotes in there. Allegedly. For legalities. Dunstan has been convicted of racketeering, being a pervert, selling marijuana, touching Spider-Man. Oh, hold the... Spider-Man's like 10. You cannot tell me that's allegedly legal. Not even that, but the guy stars in the same movie as Pee Wee Herman. Plus, Paul Rubin even said that he raised Dunstan himself. I don't make monkeys, I just train them! Oh, Pee Wee. Allegations aside, Dunstan checks in. The 96 film. The trailer says it all. <laughs> he has a fucking gun! Yeah, although this stuff is mostly speculation, I'll end on my strongest point. The Dunstan Checks In movie director, Ken Quappis, dig up his past a little bit. Boom! There it is. Malcolm in the Middle, Season 2, Episode 5. It's titled Monkey. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We all know Malcolm in the Middle was abandoned by his dad. Who also happens to be Breaking Bad? He definitely killed somebody at one point. He's probably one of the baddest guys you could be associated with. And if Dunstan knows somebody who looks like this, it just solidifies everything. Kids should not be hanging out around him.